Well, the January 6th hearings kicked off last night. Some takeaways. Number one, Liz Cheney remains committed to sullying her reputation as a good Republican by acknowledging reality. It's going to hurt her with the base. Number two, if you're a police officer in this country and you shoot an unarmed black man, you will be publicly filleted and given your own line of celebratory bumper stickers. But if you try any of that protecting and serving bullshit when they're doing a treason, they will smush you with a bike rack. All right. Maybe they should amend their beloved hashtag to blue lives matter. Not the ones with integrity, though. Number three, multiple Republicans requested a pardon in the aftermath. You know who doesn't request pardons? The innocent victims of a partisan witch hunt. You know who does request pardons? People that did that shit. Number four, Ivanka doing her level best to be disinherited. Uh-oh, no more tiny-handed shoulder rubs from daddy for you, little lady. Number five, Trump was repeatedly told by his inner circle that the election had not been stolen, and yet he did nothing to stop his sentient tsunami of sausage gravy from flooding the arteries of our democracy. Pretty damning. Other bombshells too, more to come, I'm sure. But the question that's been there the whole time, will it actually matter? And I don't know, the Democrats, you know, they're clearly doing their best to make people care. Like they had a meeting before all this and they were like, hey, Americans ain't gonna watch this shit if we don't make it feel like a Netflix true crime original. All right, so we're gonna need some viral clips, some cliffhangers, maybe some reality show elements. We can give out gavels like it's The Bachelor. I'm just spitballing. I just All I know is we're gonna need to do something to make these chimpanzees pay attention, okay? And they're right to do that. Of course, I just don't know. I feel like it doesn't matter how substantial and compelling your evidence is if the people who need to see it the most are instead watching Tucker Carlson rant about how Democrats are trying to use books to turn their kids into gay cat people, okay? We have two realities in this country. The one you and I live in where things that happen are real and the stupid matrix where all the problems are made up except for the ones that are your fault. I'm just worried they're gonna ignore all this and keep bitching about inflation and gas prices. Two things that do suck, but that will be completely irrelevant after the fall of civilization. Just feels to me if we keep going in this direction and we finally reach a point where bands of Civil War Part Two refugees are siphoning fuel from the abandoned vehicles lining the war-torn streets of our ruined cities, the few remaining Republican politicians that haven't been cannibalized will look at that and go, see, we told you we'd bring gas prices down. And can you believe the Democrats started this war? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, I hope I am. Maybe they can do enough to get through the skulls of our nation's brainwashed rage mongers. But frankly, I'll believe it when I see it, because I'm pretty convinced that when it comes to the case the committee's trying to make, they will see it and not believe it. Love y'all. YouTube, what's up? Reminder, I had eye surgery. I'm so self-conscious about my red eyes. They will get better eventually. Anyway, I'm glad y'all are here. I'm gonna put these bubbles up for you. I'm starting my solo tour very soon. So please click that one and come see me live if I'm coming to your city. You can also uh, subscribe to the channel, watch you another video there, all that fun stuff. I sure do appreciate you being here and uh, I hope you continue to do so. All right, see y'all.